So let's talk about alignments today. Doing an alignment is very similar to setting your G54 on your CNC mill, um, setting your origin. Uh, the difference in here is that on the CNC mill, you would make sure your vice is indicated, but on here, we don't have the vice, so we've got to technically indicate our part, which was really not indicating, but we're setting the alignment. So on a CMM, you can set your part anywhere on here. It doesn't matter, crooked, you can try to set it as straight as you can, you don't need to. We're gonna use the CMM to create, to basically indicate our vice per se. So we set our part, and I've intentionally set, set it at an angle to prove to you what happens. So we're gonna use the line, line, plane alignment. There are several other alignments, but this will be a basic alignment to kind of show you what happens when you're doing this. So before we get started, let's show you the, the readout. If we look at our readout and I move my Y over, I mean, excuse me, I X. You see it moving? The Y is barely moving. Okay, remember that. Let's bring it back. So the first thing we wanna do is click on a line. I'm not gonna pull the video over here because you should know how to do that by now. So we wanna, I mean, I'm sorry, we wanna do a plane. We're gonna name it Top Plane. We want four hits. We want to hit OK. So we're going to establish the top plane. So we're going to come over. This is kind of like setting a Z offset. So we're going to hit here. Kind of want to do the extents. Be careful you don't drop it into the hole. So now we have set our plane. So what we want to do, we want to come over here to turn the mouse, coordinate system, align the base plane. What are we going to align? The top plane. So we have just made that our top plane, basically like our Z on a CNC mill. So now I want to click on a line, and I want to name this front, and change it to two hits, okay. So I want to hit I want to now, this is kind of like indicating it. I want to come in here and I want to set this front line basically parallel to the X axis. So I come in here. So we have a line now. I want to go into the coordinate system. Align, axis, parallel to axis. And I want my front line Okay. So what I have just done, I have told that this line is now true to my x-axis. All right. Doesn't matter if it's sitting on the table crooked. I've told it it's true. So now I want to do another line because we are trying to set a G54 in a sense. I want to name this my left line. Okay. Now I want to measure my left line. And it is, 
Let me hit the first and I'll explain it. So, it is important how you start. If you go from here to here, you'll, you'll reverse your XY direction. If you go take hits from front to from back to front, you reverse your Y uh, coordinates. So you if, if this is my corner, this is where I want my G54 Z, XYZ zero at. I need to hit here and go that way and there and go that way to set my positive and negative correctly. All right, now that I've got that, um, I want to create a point. Let's see, where is it at? Create a point. And I want to make it at the intersection. And I'm going to name this point origin. Sorry for the camera shake. I want to name it origin. And where do I want to create a point from? Well, I want to create the, the intersection from the front line to the left line. Okay. So now I have a point at my true intersection. I want to call this point, create origin. Where do you want your origin at? I want it at my point called origin. So we have manually aligned this part so that this corner, I'm gonna come up, this corner right here, and I'm not gonna lean over to try to see it perfectly, but somewhere right in there should be my origin. So you can see, I'm sitting pretty much where I want it to be. And let's look at our digital readout. It's reading about right. So, to prove to you that it is devices indicated per se, what I'm going to do is I'm going to only move over in the X. So if we move, if we move over somewhere in here, our Y should actually be getting greater, dropping back further. Because if I'm only moving the X, as I come across, the Y zero is getting further away. So my Y should be reading negative more and more the further I go. So you can see that it did. And I can't show both at the same time, but I'm going to be moving the Y, I mean the X, further to the right. So that Y should be getting lower and lower. See, as the X is moving great, going to the right, the Y is dropping. That's how you can verify if you've got your origin set correctly. And again, it doesn't matter that my part is set on, set on an angle because when I created my origin and I set my origin, it basically, in the computer's brain, it is now sitting perfect with the axis because it does the math in it. So that's how to manually do an alignment on the plane line line. Uh, later on, we're going to be showing how to have the CMM automatically create a, an alignment for you. Hope you understand alignments now.